see the scenery. Uh, this is still part of Phang Thai district. I live on the other side of the district. So here uh, we just came back from a private hospital uh, with my wife. I'm sure I'll be posting a video. Just commenting on my experience compared, comparing uh, public hospitals to private hospitals. So on my left here, these are uh, residential communi communities and uh, these look like uh, some kind of residential communities too. Uh, there is some something happening. And uh, let's look at the congestion because this is not a main road. Like I was talking earlier on about EVs. Uh, that's, a, that's a EV, brand new from the box. That's a BYD. That's a BYD car. And, uh, it was interesting. I'm, I hope you just watched the other video. So anyway, let's get back to what I'm talking about here. So here is we'll cycle we'll see the scenery and i'll say a few things as we go along uh spoiler alert we are going to pass by uh the station the main station for the for uh, what's, what's uh for the dashing international airport for those who don't know what uh dashing international airport is is the biggest airport in the world in the world at the moment it's a new china uh, it's a new airport in china and uh, due to everything it's been it's not that active i've done a video as well when i've been to dashing how uh, the congestion here is quite heavy now the other thing is uh, what we have there is are the shops what we have there we've got shops Someone is stopped for some reason. He's not moving. Oh, traffic light is, is on red. Uh, take away food. Take away uh, place. Uh, have I used this road before? Yeah. I think actually we can avoid the dashing and go this way. I'm sure you would have seen. Uh, this that road up ahead that's the main road which actually checks everyone close to what i say my community my community is on the other side of that road and uh, the buildings the tall buildings you see over there uh they're in my community that's the uh, neighboring community or my community but i'm sure my community is on the further left so now here is uh there is some supermarkets some kind of like uh mall places and uh, where you can buy stuff and it's a weekend it's a weekend and but the problem is why you don't see a lot of people it's very hot and that enough it rained yes last night so until this morning electric vehicle so over there and there's another ev uh that's another EV. Like I'm saying, if you watch my videos, you would have seen uh, you'd have seen what distinguishes an EV, an electric vehicle, to a normal vehicle. Uh, it's the number plate. The number plate color is different. I've not been to this uh, supermarket. Let me see if we can find an exit on the other side. I've not been to this. Uh, is this supermarket or shopping place or mall whatever it is i'll be there sometime to do a video for you but at the moment is i have to find a exit here to see if i can exit then we continue the video i'm afraid we can't exit here so i might have to go right back i might have to go to cycle right back like here we go follow me so here yeah, what we have is it's uh, like i said we'll have to come here and uh, unfortunately i thought there would be another exit 
but I know where the best that's another EV over there and you still get like some a lot of um, as you see in China there is a lot of foreign brands like we're talking about we've got an Audi we've got a Chevrolet there we got uh, we just drove past the Porsche and we still get them we got a Ford uh, Volkswagen but you will see a lot of Chinese brands there is a lot of Chinese car brands and uh, with the Chinese car brands is they just keep them on the law and most of them you'll see they are new cars and the majority of them I will say they are electric vehicles so now uh, there's a car dealership I know I'm sure I would have shown you the other side of the car dealership and now we've got a canal earlier on I did a video where I was talking about the first ever empty canal that I've seen in China actually I should have been there and uh, if you live in Beijing or uh, you will realize that uh, districts are really separated or divided by uh, rivers rivers uh, uh, the actual border lines in most in most cases this is what I'm saying in most cases uh, that's my experience what I've seen and uh, this is another area that uh, I've not shown you before I've not shown you this is what like uh, the back streets will normally look like in Beijing and uh, these areas in some cases will be earmarked for regeneration uh, for redevelopment so and uh, you'll find some factors some back, uh, uh, backyard uh, factories in there these are small scale factories although you know that China has got gigantic uh, factories these are small factories that uh, you see locally normally now what I want to say here is I'm sure you would have seen you would have seen this road uh, I've, I've been on this uh, road I can take a left and I can take a right but uh, if you go on there there's actually a big big road this is just a connecting uh, path for those two main roads and you saw it's just a few meters uh, behind me you would have been the, 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 the path really changes and now let's look at the water canal Uh, let's take a look at the water canals uh, cycling on the wrong side of the road like I said you will uh, I'm going to show you uh, this is this road uh, a lot of people you would have seen it but not this side behind me uh, the market over there I've done a video on that uh, when we on just another day out uh, with my family we had been there and it's quite empty it was quite empty and before the previous uh, lockdown and quarantine which we had uh, that's the place that uh, we traveled there and it seems to be going out of business but it's another or oh, the other thing it is another uh, a plants market it is another plants market and now on the other side of the road as well that's where I do my morning uh, four kilometer run if I leave my uh, apartment and run to here it's exactly four kilometers as we move like I said we're on the wrong side of the road but anyway this will give this gives you the best view of uh, normally what the roads or what cars are like in China what traffic opposite traffic is like and uh, where we're going now is I will tell you a funny story uh, I came with my daughter last time I was here with my daughter 
my daughter is a big fan of police cars and ambulances really if she sees a police car she needs to make sure that everyone sees that there is a police car now the funny story it relates to my daughter and the police car there was a traffic stop just underneath the bridge you'll see it just a few meters from now there was a traffic raid on mopeds on on bike riders they were only stopping like uh bike riders and uh because there's a lot of illegal bikes do not now that in beijing you need to register your bike which will show you that your bike is registered some people they just buy and ride like these ones at the back it seems like it's sort of like a number plate but it is not a number plate it is just like uh yeah it is a number plate it is a registration um uh, what i say it is a, a registration id for your bike so some people they don't actually bother to register theirs they just ride and i remember when the system really was enforced oh i'm sure you'd have seen here as well when the place was enforced uh, they were I was in Beijing University of Language and Culture back then that was something like four years ago before you did not even need to register you just buy your bike and a lot of students will ride their bikes but uh, there was an increase <laughs> of students being hit by cars so when they, they discover that uh, you know a lot of accidents they're now being caused by these unregistered bikes and i uh, remember it was a big thing for i think then it was optional I, i'll assume that it was optional but for students they didn't yeah it was optional for students but i didn't know for other people if it was optional or not so now that's uh Cao Xiao. Cao Xiao. this is the subway Station the Tsao Xiao uh, Shan uh, for Dashing for the Dashing uh, Airport Express train. So from here you can go to Dashing uh, straight, sorry to the Dashing Airport. So I've shown you that. I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you the other way round. So if you see this, uh, I'm sure if you see this uh, from our apartment, you will see these buildings. You will see these buildings if, uh, because my community, these, if you see those tall buildings over there, that's where I live. So everything is just a stone throw away. And uh, I was very lucky to move to this side. And uh, the place where I live, it's modern buildings as well, modern communities. So with these modern communities, you don't have to worry about uh, the degradation, like uh, the old facilities, some things not working, everything is modern. Uh, they've got parks as well. So those parks are very good. But in all communities, the parks will be like outside, but in new communities, you will see a lot of uh, parks inside the community. It's either a recreational uh, area, but it is somewhere where people do some exercises and um, they can chill. They can, yeah, in my community, you've seen that in front, some kids play basketball, a lot of activities like the dancing activities. That's the advantage of uh, modern communities. But, uh, yeah, you get some new facilities, but the old communities, I lived in an old community when I came to Beijing, uh, like I said. So... Navigating with the opposite traffic. So, yeah, uh, and I realized that there will be convenience shops in the old communities but the problem is with my new community right now we have got a vending machine so a couple of vending machines where you can buy absolutely everything 
that you need and they're just outside of the community you would have seen me uh, going to the 24 hour shop that's the best part of it just the walking distance uh, you will see that uh, we've got a shopping mall uh, the Wanda Plaza amongst other things and this is the experience so where we're going we're just going opposite the street now we're just now going opposite the street that's where the plants market is and I'm sure you will watch my next video when I'm showing you what uh, inside the kind of plants inside and uh, the very interesting parts of uh, of of what's inside and like I said the convenience uh, now consider the convenience we just had the bikes cycled from other side of dashing to other side you can do the same and uh, you can do the same it's easy just to commute around Beijing and uh, everything is convenient now someone is going to get uh, their pets we want to see what she's going to choose and uh, remember say hello everyone so someone is happy she's going to get her uh, pets do you want a uh, what do you want do you want a crab or chitters you want a crab or oh, she wants some crabs but i'm sure Oh, a turtle. Oh, she's going turtle. Me, I say tortoise. I don't know the difference between a turtle and a tortoise. I'm African, remember, old school. So, this is the plants market. It is very big, as you can tell from here. You can't see the end from here. So, this is the whole structure. And on the other side, you'll see there's some electrical markets, ele electrical stores, and uh furniture stores and no house decoration stores shops and uh, you see there's some uh, different this is really a one-stop shop for a lot of things and a lot of places so now is the video ends here we're just going to scan our QR codes and uh, continue shopping which I'll do the next video for you to enjoy to subscribe and like the video so you don't miss any content so just put some flowers thank you for watching